Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking to me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are you? No, like, who do you know here? Were you invited to this party? <laughs> Obviously not, because I'm Ashley. Let me introduce myself, because clearly you know no one here. I invited everybody to this party. So if I don't know you, this party doesn't know you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sorry. Best of luck, though. I hope you get into another party. You must be new to Chico. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I'm a senior at Chico State, and I really hope that you find your way here. Because Chico can be a lot of fun once you, you know, find your crowd. And I hate to break it to you, but if you're not getting invited to parties this late in the semester, you're probably not going to. <laughs> like I said, though, best of luck. Really. You know, I almost feel a little bad for you. Do you want some alcohol? I mean, you look too young to be able to buy any yourself, so I'm not sure how you walked in with that bottle, but you could have a sip of mine. This is Crispin Rose Hard Cider. Mm, I can handle my alcohol pretty well. I just prefer to drink these because, you know, they're a little something lighter. So you did want to sip? Okay, I mean, honestly, that's kind of gross because I don't know if you have anything. We probably shouldn't share drinks on second thought, but you know what? I'm feeling generous today, so I'll actually let you stay if you have nowhere else to go because I remember what it was like being a freshman. I mean, not really because I had friends my freshman year and I would get invited to these sort of things, but... I do feel some sympathy for your situation, considering maybe it's not easy for you to make friends. I mean, <laughs> that's just my guess, just based off of the little time I've had getting to know you. But maybe I could help you out a bit, become less socially awkward, so you'll get invited places and maybe guys will date you. Um, I mean, that's just me assuming that you're single. I don't know if you have a boyfriend or not. Oh, you do? Oh, why isn't he here with you? I mean, is there a reason you're alone tonight if you have a boyfriend? Oh, you're long distance. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, since you just moved to Chico, what's your major? Like, what do you plan on doing? Since you seem to just be wandering around pretty lost, so just wondering. Oh, oh, communications, huh? Nice. That's that's cute. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm going to be a lawyer. My daddy's actually part of a pretty big firm. You may have heard of it. It's called Agency 22. Oh. It's okay. A lot of people don't really know about it unless they're you know, in the industry or just this is something you wouldn't necessarily know about so it doesn't offend me that you haven't heard of him or his firm but I guess you could say I already have my foot in the door so yeah I'm gonna graduate in the fall it's a pretty big deal you know I'm actually a senior but this is technically my junior year I just take a lot of credits so I don't know if you're a full-time student but if you could manage it, I would highly suggest that you take more classes than you're used to so that you can graduate early. It'll benefit you a lot in the long run. Maybe I could serve as some sort of mentor to you. Who knows? Because I do know what I'm talking about, and since you seem like a lost little child running around trying to get into these parties and, I guess, figure out what you're doing with your life, I just I feel like I here because I'm supposed to help you. Maybe that's why we ran into each other tonight. Uh, so what is it that you're drinking anyways? Coors Light. <laughs> is that all you could afford? Yeah. I understand. Just make sure you don't gain that freshman 15. Because I think you could afford to lose a little weight, so. Those definitely will pack on the calories if you let them, so I just be careful.
yeah. I'm just not at the bars tonight because I was feeling like just staying in. So I invited all of my closest friends over to just enjoy a few drinks. Oh, um, well, I'm just sitting alone at the corner because that's what I want to do right now. I just don't really feel like socializing, you know. I'm so popular that sometimes it just becomes a lot when people are trying to constantly talk to me 24-7. <laughs> Honestly, I envy you in a weird sort of way that you don't have many friends because my life would be a lot easier if it was that way for me. But, yeah, so I throw these parties every once in a while and maybe if you're cool enough I will actually invite you to the next one instead of feeling sorry for you if you're lucky so. yeah I'm Ashley by the way I don't know if I formally introduced myself but yeah, you probably don't want to forget my name I could get you into a decent amount of places including the bars I could get you a fake if you need one. You'll probably need one because you definitely cannot pass for 21 any other way. You look pretty young, sweetheart. It's okay. It's a good thing you met me. That's all I have to say about that, so. Are you gonna say anything? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've just been the only one talking for the past 10 minutes. Do you speak? <laughs> it's no wonder you're not being invited anywhere. You're so antisocial. You just <laughs> want to help you out here. Let's let's get you talking. I mean, what is it that you do, or what do you aspire to do with your communications degree? I mean, like I said, that's it's really cute, but what are you actually going to do with that, like career-wise? Oh, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> So, what does that mean? Like, you make videos <laughs> about what? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I've never met somebody who did that before. This one kid in my engineering class did, but he was a real weirdo, so. <laughs> never met anybody else. I'm not saying that it's weird if you do it, but I just not really into the whole YouTube thing, so can't relate. I prefer to set my goals pretty high. Anyone can make videos online, you know, for fun, but besides your hobby, what do you actually plan on doing? Oh, you make money from your YouTube? How exactly does that work? <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about a real career girl if you're in school like you have to be striving for something different you know what I mean so you mean to tell me that you live off of your YouTube money <laughs> honey I wasn't born yesterday okay okay if that's what you want to tell people go ahead but I'm sorry I was just trying to give you some advice because like I said, you do seem a little lost as a freshman with a communications major. I mean, that's nice, but at least have some sort of direction. Videos aren't going to get you anywhere in the long run. For me, you know, being a lawyer and working for my daddy's firm, not only will I help so many people, but it's a very rewarding career in other ways, if you know what I'm saying. I'm going to get paid a lot of money, Me, a really good man who will probably also be in the same industry and just be successful in that way. It's just basically been a family tradition for years, so it's okay. I wouldn't expect you to understand. <laughs> Anyways, I need some more alcohol if I'm going to continue this conversation with you, so it's a good thing I have a whole pack full. I would offer you some, but you seem to be doing just fine with your chorus light. <laughs> this actually reminds me it being so late in the night and me having had a few of these. I need to go ahead and touch up my makeup because I don't look this great naturally. You know, it requires a lot of effort. My skincare routine is 
pretty prestige and my hair care routine as you can see I like to keep my hair relatively healthy so did you want to do your makeup with me or you don't keep a makeup bag in your purse <laughs> you don't have a purse with you at all so you mean to tell me that you just showed up here with your coarse light no friends no makeup, no purse, dressed like that. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to help you out here. Mostly because I'm embarrassed to be seen with you <laughs> at my party looking like this. But if you're not going to do your makeup, someone has to. So it's a good thing that I have plenty in my bag for the two of us. <sighs> This is my travel makeup bag. I have quite a few items in here for emergencies. And at this point, it seems that you need it a little more than I do. So maybe we should touch up yours first. Then maybe I could get around to introducing you to some of my cool senior friends. Maybe that way I'll be invited back. <laughs> but at this rate, I kind of doubt it. Let's see what we have in here. You don't wear eyeshadow, do you? You could definitely benefit from some, I would say. This is one of my Too Faced palettes. I wouldn't expect you to be familiar with these sort of products as they're pretty high-end and you seem to be a fan of drugstore makeup. <laughs> if I had to take a guess or the natural look, which doesn't seem to be doing much for your face and your bone structure. So we're actually going to start off with concealer because you have a lot of acne that needs to be covered up. I don't care how dark it is in this party. You can still see that all over your face. And don't worry, I've been there. I remember when I used to get a pimple or two, but I've never had those sort of pores. So let's see what I can do to attempt to reverse the damage <laughs> everything's falling out of my bag but that's okay because we're going to need everything we absolutely can put on your face this foundation it's pretty full coverage which is exactly what i think you need oh no we're going to do a lot more than just touching up on your face i was referring to myself my makeup is pretty good still and honestly I don't even look the way that you do right now without makeup no offense no offense I just I'm not sure if you're applying it right or your skin just naturally looks this way but I'm gonna do the best I can for not only your sake but my own since I did let you stay here and I don't really want people associating me with somebody who does their makeup the way you do no offense no offense, but we're going to fix you up. So let's put some of this foundation on this brush. Come this way and lean in a little bit closer to me. Okay. Will you hold still? I can't work on your face when you are moving so much. This foundation does not seem to be working. <laughs> We're going to need quite a few more products than just this one, so. Let's see what else I have in my bag. Well, secondly, I think you could definitely benefit from a bit of perfume because you smell awful. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but let me just help you out a little bit. Spray some perfume. Okay. Oh, got that in my eye. Your energy is just blowing it towards me, so. I'm not sure if this perfume even smells right on you because it's mixed with 
whatever scent was there before but hopefully this will help a little bit because it's clear that you don't take normal showers it's definitely a tip i would give to you if you want people to sit next to you in class you should probably smell at least decent and perfume isn't going to work in the long run <laughs> honestly i should probably just do an entire skin and hair care routine on you but i don't have the time right now considering we're at a party that i'm throwing so i hate that i'm even having to waste my time doing this right now but what can i say i just like to get back i mean it's the least i could do since i'm bringing you under my wing and all what was your name again ally just ally it's not short for anything oh allison oh wow that's cute you're like my little sister we both have A names. Yeah. It's almost like you want to be me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course, we just met. But let me see what I can do about brushing your hair. If you're lucky, maybe I'll let you have a sip. <laughs> your mouth is starting to get a little bit less disgusting looking to me. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little tipsy. Maybe I should hold my tongue. But I'm starting to realize that if you had herpes, that would mean that guys would kiss you, and since you're so alone, I sort of doubt that's the case, but anyways, I tend to talk a lot when I get a little tipsy from these sort of drinks, so please don't be offended by the things that I may be saying. It's not that I'm trying to offend you, I'm just trying to look out for you, and just look out for myself, so let's just give you a sip, because that Coors Light doesn't look very appetizing, and I think... These are definitely more low-cal than the kind of alcohol you may be used to. So, if you want to sit, I'll let you have one. Here you go. Take the bottle. <laughs> I'm not your mother. I'm not going to just spoon-feed it to you. Here you go. Yeah. I told you that was a lot better than what you were used to. Anyways... Let's go ahead and brush your hair because Lord knows you need it. <laughs> it's a really good thing I carry this hairbrush with me everywhere that I go, even though I do live here considering it's my house, but I always need my handy dandy travel makeup bag <laughs> and travel hairbrush for emergency situations like this one. As you can see, my hair has very little knots, even though it's curled right now because I just take really good care of it. I use things like argan oil. Maybe one day, if you're really lucky, I could show you my entire hair care routine. Maybe your subscribers would like that as well. <laughs> it's cute. Maybe I could even help you with your YouTube career. Yeah, so come close. Come over to this side. This is my good side, so... For the people at the party watching me take care of you right now, it's just going to look a lot better from this sort of angle. So come over here and let me go ahead and brush your hair. I'm not even sure which side to start on, girl. It's all a freaking mess. So actually, I'm just going to get up and attempt to do this. So give me one second. Just take a second. need to get behind your head and give you all the work that I can. God, your hair is so tangly. Do you ever brush it? Oh, this is a workout, honestly, for me to have to pull my hand through with this brush just stuck inside of your head. God, <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to be doing this at the party. I'm sorry, I just needed to sit back down over here because being behind your head was giving me a lot of anxiety. There was just way too much to work with. That didn't exactly go as planned, so I think we may need to just go ahead and put your hair in a ponytail. Luckily, I have quite a few of those on the end of this brush, so. Okay, let's get your hair up the way we need it to be. That 
should do for now. <laughs> so, like I said, maybe in the future we could go ahead and give you a deep scalp massage and hairstyle. But for now, this will have to suffice. And, I mean, you should thank me because, honestly, I did you a bit of a service. <laughs> going from the way your hair was looking quite naturally to this ponytail, I'd say it's quite the improvement. Yeah. Anyways, did you take my drink? Did you give it back? Because I don't know where I put it. <laughs> you don't have it? I guess I'm just going to have to get another one. Oh. Here it is. <laughs> you must have misplaced it because I didn't put it there. It's getting a bit late. Do you have a curfew? <laughs> a bedtime? You live with your parents or... Oh, I'm sure YouTube pays for that apartment too, huh? Right? <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. Well, one day maybe I'll just have to be on your channel. <laughs> Honestly, this tastes a little weird since you decided to take a sip, so. I'm not sure if I even want to go ahead and finish it. Maybe someday we'll get a chance to work on your oral care as well because I'm not sure how hygienic you are considering the top of this bottle now looks green. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I said, I tend to get a little extra verbal <laughs> when I'm drinking, so I don't mean to let the truth come out as much as it is, but I'm just really real. I pride myself in being really honest with people. That's why I have so many friends and so many people come to my parties because I'm just pretty likable. And as a lawyer, you need to be, you know, you need to be very honest and brutal when it comes to making statements about other people. So I was pretty much, as you could say, and as a lot of people would say, destined to fulfill the career in which my daddy had and many others in my family. Was your mom a YouTuber or what inspired you to go down that route? I'm sorry, I completely zoned out. I just realized I don't really care. But that's awesome that that works for you, you know? Best of luck. Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, it was cool to help you out, and if you want to hit me up sometime to help you out some more, I would, uh, I shouldn't say I would love to help out, but maybe this would count as my graduating internship, honestly. Me helping a fellow young, insecure, helpless freshman at Chico State. I could ask my teacher about that. But, yeah, I mean, you could take down my number, social media, and... I have the time, I'll get around to replying to you and maybe you'll be invited back if I could work on you a bit with your looks because I've definitely improved you a lot tonight from what I just did. So, yeah. Have a safe ride home. Do you need me to call you an Uber? Or, I mean, God, you would think that freshmen would have this sort of thing figured out by now. Or you have the app downloaded on their phone because you shouldn't be drinking and driving. Well, best of luck to you. It's getting a bit late and I need to tend to the other people at this party. So it was nice knowing you. And if you would like to hit me up to do your hair sometime or your makeup or just for any sort of life advice, since I am so ambitious and far along in the career that has already been set aside for me and planned out since I was basically born, you know, um, sorry, I just got lost in my train of thought of success and wealth and power because those are all things that I'm destined to have and I know that many people won't be able to relate. <laughs> Anywho, it was nice having you here. Um, I feel that I did a pretty big service to you, so I guess you could consider me your big sis here on campus. Best of luck, like I said. Wait, what was your name again? Allie. And your channel is called ASMR Alley? Okay. 
Be sure to check that out. I'm not sure what ASMR is. You mean channels Ali Hardesty? Okay. If I get around to remembering that, I'll be sure to look you up. But have a safe night. Bye. <laughs>